Hello everyone, welcome back. I still got this little sinus, so don't worry about my voice, I'm good. It's just hay fever, uh, wearing my apron. So we're gonna be outside again. Today we're gonna do a rotisserie chuck roast. Yay. Yay. It's a two and a half pounder. Chuck roast, roast a pretty uh, tough meat when you get right down to it. Uh, it's more fat than it is marbling, so you really have to cook these done, but you cook them any temperature you like, okay? So what we're gonna do, if y'all remember back in the day with old Justin Wilson and his show, and uh, I know y'all remember seeing him cutting uh, meats up and stuffing peppers and onions and all that stuff down in them. Well, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take some uh, garlic and uh, Serranto, Serrano pepper. Okay, this pepper is five times hotter than jalapeno, uh, five to 15,000 on the SCOBY scale. Scoville. Scoville scale. I said SCOBY like Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo scale. Mm -hmm. All right, so our seasonings, we're just gonna use some, man, we love the Mont Montreal steak seasoning. I know a lot of y'all love that. Now, I I've been using this a lot lately, and this paprika, man, it really hasn't a lot of, it doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, but it gives great color to your meats out there cooking. So we're gonna use that. Is that right, it? So we got Take some cloves seat. here. I cut them into, we got like eight pieces of them, of uh, fresh cloves. The peppers, I did take the seeds out because they were hot. Um, once we stuff these and we get done cooking them, if you don't want to eat those hot peppers when you cut your meat up, you can just pull them out of the way and it'll just leave them a, a mild heat uh, around that pepper area. That's why I didn't want to use jalapeno. I didn't think you was going to get enough. Many ways enough you can do this. Out. Rebecca thought about the cross, but I've always just penetrated it and just opened it up a little bit so I can get stuff to them down in there. You could put spring onions down in here or green, green onions, however you want to call it. Let's get them down in there. Get that pepper down in there. You're gonna close it up. And I probably made that hole a little too big, but that's fine. And you're like, you know, that won't impart too much flavor. Oh yes, it will. I've done these At many this point, times. You can, like you can actually put some olive oil on there a little bit or something. I think we're gonna let this sit a while, so I think it's gonna stick on there pretty good. So I'm not too much worried about that. Again, just paprika, just for color. You can use the smoked pepper if you want. I think when I first start the grill off, I think I'll throw a little smoking wood on there. Snip the ends excess off. Okay. 
Well, it should rotisserie pretty well a just like that. Centered, but that's fine. We're just going to bring some of these coals over here a little further, closer. So they're centered in the coals. I have a little hickory wood chips in here. I'm going to just toss them on there. Over here to the side. It'll smoke out through there. Turn on our rotisserie. And what are we doing? Now we're cooking with charcoal. We're cooking and we're we're on the second level. That should be fine. It should take a little over an hour, maybe two Real hours. High heat in here. So it's who who knows? We'll stop and check it every now and then, see what we got on the temperature, but we're gonna give it at least an hour. Once you start getting the bark built up on there, you'll know when to check it. So just let her go. peppers aren't that hot and you can actually taste the pepper and the, uh, and the garlic. garlic throughout it mm. delicious this is really really good and the cook worked for me and Rebecca because I like mine medium rare to rare Rebecca like hers well done all the, the pieces around the edges were done in the meat in the middle was medium rare so we have a homemade potato salad Cheese and Oops. bacon in it, cucumbers. It's really, really good. Mm. And then we had uh, Rebecca cook some fried cabbage with some shallots and bacon, and bacon grease. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we have, oh, well, we got a little French bread. What mm -hmm. kind of little French bread? We have the one that comes in the cold berry too. It was bread. easy. While I was out there doing it, it took uh, what, almost two hours. Yeah, about, no, an hour and a half. Hour and it took half. an hour and a half with all my uh, coal in there. Mm -hmm. And it's delicious. I didn't really, I went out there and filmed it just a few times. I didn't have to watch anything. While I was doing that, Rebecca made the uh, cabbage and the bread. I had already, we, we both made, team teamed up and made the uh, potato salad. salad. So, all right, it's so the first time here. Please subscribe. Ring that bell down below to get all of our notifications. Give us some thumbs up to show you like it. Give us a comment. Share this video, please. And most important, y'all come back. Bye. Bye. Man, it's good. It is good. Stuff. Good Saturday, Sunday meal. <laughs>